Right, hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon, with me is Gorilla Metal. get your broccoli ready. <laughs> We're off for a Blitz Pit match. Day two of Blitz Pit, this is the winner's bracket. This is essentially the winner's bracket final, or winner's bracket semi-final, however you want to call it. Um, PTK has won all his games so far, so has Wolfbark. Um, hello, Gorilla. Hello, hello. Last two unbeaten squaring off. Uh, double elimination tournament, so this is not the end of the line for either team if they fall short, but you really want to win it and get into that final, get a little bit of a break while they uh, have to play one more loser's bracket game before uh, before going into that grand final. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's very, very nice to get in there. You really want to minimize the amount of blood ball you play in really all situations. <laughs> oh, God. Right off the bat, no... <laughs> <laughs> Look at dog. The apple out and saves him. Yeah. Look at dog PTK. So let's have a look at let's have a look at the team. Only eleven for PTK. Uh, plus the apple. He's got dodge leader. Oh, so that's how he got the three third reroll. Wrestler, dodge tackle, dodge step, dodge, dodge guard. So stacked up on the blitzers pretty much. Pretty much what you'd expect, isn't it? Uh, PTK classic this. But it is yeah. a bit it is a bit brittle, isn't it? Only 11 men with the... I know it's got the apple, but knowing that people could get, like this chap, block tackle uh, claw mighty, it's a little bit um, brittle. And uh, what's he called? Wolf has gone the same as most other people. Uh, went chaffs, except his little thing is he's gone guard. Uh, sorry, show hands on a hobgoblin instead of guard on the bull centaur, which is exactly what... Cru Otherwise, his team would have been exactly the same as Crucifer's, right? And he's yeah, got... Yeah, I think so. Uh, didn't crew who was it that had the naked bull someone had a bull without block didn't uh, they? that was pc because he went max oh, okay. guard he, he just oh, went max that's guard right. whereas he's yeah. um wolf bark has got a chalf without guard which is what crucifer did yeah i would be very nervous coming in with just 11 elves uh but i don't really think there's an optimal dark elf build in which you also have a bench it's a little tough to work with huh yeah, yeah, they're always going to be a little bit dicey because of that, like, it's not... Yeah. Oh, but, like, wow. PTK, this is his, like, favorite build, I believe. Like, he's worked this one out for a good long while, hasn't he? Uh, he, he often likes two, uh, two witch elves, to be honest. Mm. But, um, yeah, it's 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 just dark elves, isn't it? He likes dark elves. He knows what he's doing with them. The comfortable yep. team is important in Blitzpit when you've only got a minute. And with the blood wow. steppers. That can cause people problems where there's only one blood stepper. But with all the blodge, <laughs> you can cause people problems to solve that they're going to struggle to solve in one minute, can't, aren't you? Yeah, and speaking of one minute, Wolfbark going right to the end of his. One second left, putting in the boot. Oof. Lucky he didn't run out of time on one second like, like he did yeah. in the other bit. <laughs> Just a stun, ref says it's okay and we can continue. Uh, so yeah, the Dark Elves up a man on turn two. They can't feel too bad about that. About to get a nice little hit here on a bull. Yeah. Could you, ima could you imagine that bull going down to a Kaz this early in the game after the Apo already came out? <laughs> that would be brutal, wouldn't it? I think yeah. he's got to protect this guard a little bit, right? Because uh, PTK has already shown, uh, not PTK, Wolfbark has already shown his, uh, his desire to foul him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And PTK's bit. Oh, God, he's rolled another oh, one. He oh, can't really no. roll this, can he? Lord, he can't, he, he can't Lord, because. Oh, no, that's what Mark with the four. Until I'm victorious. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the three ones. Text, yeah, text, to, yeah, text, 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 text to speech. Flip my only ever same to back to this stream when my subri news. Feeding Jim's Greg's addiction for three years now. <laughs> okay, it's over. <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot, Just said. Joe. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck she just said. <laughs> yeah, common trend. Well, did not uh, get any uh, any reward on that bull blitz, just had to push him, and then failed to tackle dodge away. Uh, so now he's got a, a blodge stepper on the ground. 
that one also could see the boot. I think I'd probably rather get the guard out first. Yeah, though. for sure, for sure. You, you can get a huge foul on this guard. Um, yep. I guess he's just got to make sure that no, he hasn't. He's gone for the he's gone for the claw mighty mm. blitz and get more assists. Um, well, he's greedy because he's got those extra rerolls. Yeah, he can greed it easily. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to roll K K fog a little bit, which is fair enough. Um, I don't know, I, I wouldn't mind blitzing the furthest forward lineman. He's got to be careful that uh, PTK doesn't get ahead of himself here because, well, not ahead of himself, ahead of Wolfbark here because, you yeah. know, he wants the big foul here, but he's got to, he's got to be careful of Wolfbark, of PT. Oh, God, I can't, which one's which? He's got to, <laughs> he's got to be careful of PTK turning the corner and, like, uh, getting past, hasn't he? Yeah, um, absolutely. Real big risk of Space Force just running right down the field and caging up there and getting <laughs> to just milk the clock while uh, while uh, Space Ham recovers. <laughs> yeah. Nine Beaver Frenzies. Thank you very much, uh, Joe, for staying fantastic for three full years. Absolutely glorious. Here comes that gang foul. Broccoli. No, oh. Again, just a stun. Ref says it's okay. Uh, pretty mm. passive uh, start from the Chorfs. Yeah. Yeah, helped by the pickup fails. I think that was why that encouraged him to go for the fouls there a bit, didn't it? I'm surprised he didn't move him over here a little bit. But I guess he's, he's fearing the switch, which is fair enough, isn't it? Wolf Bark. Oh, PTK. <laughs> <laughs> Not afraid to uh, switch it up, switching sides and that, trying to push and pull. Wolf Bark out of position. <laughs> Christ. This is a little bit different than my normal Sunday push and pull, but uh, still does the job. <laughs> but... Oh dear, yeah, no Kim Basinger in this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't go for the block. I thought it had blocked and then got the blitz on the uh, blitz on the hobgoblin. That witch elf might be taking a mighty blow hit. She might be, yeah. Ooh, well, that helps. I, I guess I guess it's definitely it's, taking a mighty blow hit. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, she's not like she's no more um, brittle than the other elves, right? Because he's got claw anyway, so yeah, that's it's true. Not really an issue that, that the yeah, witch. Yeah, actually, she's probably a worse target in that case because she's got wrestle. Exactly. Yeah, she's actually yeah, the most good defensive point. player. Yep. Good point. PTK GFing for a little screen here. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Just trying to spread those chorfs around a little bit. Yeah. Those Interesting. Those are stacked up on the opposite end of the fit, pitch right now. Though they're quick, but uh, if they want to be relevant, they got to use the blitz on one of those linemen. To, well, I guess you could break tackle if you wanted to risk it, but yeah, and he can run through the middle here. But then if he does that, he can't do the foul. So that's yeah. it's kind of you know tempting to not do that. Also, you kind of want your your bulls apart, don't you? Because if they're together, it's a bit crap. <laughs> Well, I like mine staying within about an inch of each other, personally. <laughs> oh, did you say bulls? I like my bulls splayed as wide apart as possible. Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that's all I'm picturing for a while. <laughs> oh, oh, dear me. <laughs> and here, rewarded again with a stun, and not much else. Chorfs are going to really need to turn up the uh, the violence in the coming turns here. Oh, God, increase the violent level. Do you remember that? Raise the violent level. No. What's oh, that man. It was amazing. There was some uh, pushing or pushing the violent level. It was something, some, some like, uh, someone who was new to Blood Bowl <laughs> said something like that. We have to raise the violent level up. We have to push the violent level, something like that. It was amazing. It was really funny. I can't remember the exact wording, but it was, trust me, it was funny. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Hello, Fleeky Flack. Hello. Do you remember it? You should remember it as well. Everyone here should remember it. Uh, well, not everyone, uh, here, obviously. It, it was it, was it something that some rando said in a game or something? Yeah, or? yeah, it was just some random random dude in CCL. He was like, "I have to, I have to push the violent level." Oh, uh, that does. Yeah, okay, it sounds vaguely familiar, but we deal with people like that all the time. So <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> hard, hard to say. Yeah. It's getting to the point now that although this guy's lucky to be on the pitch, uh, it's also lucky for Wolfbark that he's, 
his crappy goblin still on the pitch, yep. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, that guard, you know, guard, you know, you use it for crowd control. Well, he's controlling a, a pretty big crowd right now. <laughs> yeah. Just with his face. <laughs> the old face to fist technique. Uh, yeah. He can, uh, he can hit the claw, claw mighty now, can't he? Oh, he's mm. not, he's blitzing the move. He's just no. prioritizing movement and positioning PTK. It's fair enough, he doesn't have a mighty blow yeah. guy. I mean, also hitting the armor seven, you know. Yeah, but I mean, he could have just blocked him with, uh, he could have just blocked him anyway, right? Instead. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 good point, yep. Yeah. So he's really, he's really prioritizing position. Which is funny, isn't it, with Dark Elves, you know, they're one of those teams that can, like, they're not as fast as Wood Elves, but they can they can make up for things a bit, can't they? It's not like Dwarves. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You know, the thing is, though, you know, I, I do play a lot of Dark Elves. I do enjoy playing a lot of Dark Elves. I really enjoy playing them. But, uh, I think I do <laughs> <really> <laughs> so I'm sorry, that's <laughs> brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> That's fucking brilliant! Yeah, Wolfpack sure. fouls him for three turns! <laughs> <laughs> fucking loads of gang fouls him for three turns, does fuck all! <laughs> and he dodges the win! Oh, <laughs> uh, I think we'll call that one a wash over there. Uh, basically, like, the fouls worked, no send-offs, and nothing else to see here, folks. Uh, but yeah, Dark Elves, I feel like you can get yourself into a little bit of trouble, more so than any other elf. Yeah. Doing that, like, well, I can score any time because, yeah, they can two turn effectively if they're set up for it. But if they're not, they really need three turns for a breakaway, you know? Yeah. Especially with two bulls in the backfield. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm surprised that, I mean, oh, look, PTK's played so many games of, uh, with Dark Elves, yeah, yeah. tabletop, number one in tabletop and everything, isn't he? So. I'm not questioning him, but it's just funny that he would still, like, you know, with dwarves, loads of people with dwarves would have made that block and stuff. You know, like, like Christopher did, didn't he, who won? He made, he took a Hobgoblin away to make an extra 2 dB and stuff. Um, yeah. But interesting that, that PTK, even with Dark Elves versus a relatively slow, unresponsive team, will still prioritise position rather than maximising blocks there. Yeah. I just, I, I feel a lot safer around this time in the drive getting about uh, maybe even a little bit more forward than he is like in the next turn or two and just being able to hold the line knowing that i can score at any time uh but having the edge four to be able to keep uh kind of disengaging and re-screening to stall because he's still obviously going for an eight turn stall with them but i just like having the option with them to put it in the end zone at any point rather than have to get a full breakaway like you can consider with like a wood elf catcher or something yeah um yeah that's i mean i'm not you say obviously i'd rather but just for to the extent of like an extra block there do you know what i mean like i would i would yeah. still maximize the block there like i know what you're yep. saying obviously and agree with it but it's just like it was. It just seemed a little strange that he would value it that much. And I know he doesn't have mighty blow. Maybe if he had mighty blow, you'd have, he would have. He would have gone for the extra hit and stuff. But um, yeah. really interesting that to me. Uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of problems brewing here. Not too bad, but yeah. Um, things could go wrong here. Yeah. So he's just gonna keep that that bull penned in. Yeah, he's got him controlled enough, hasn't he? Yep. By the looks yeah, of he does. He does. That was, I mean, that was a risky dodge there, though. 1 in 36, and you're basically getting 2 deep. Yeah, it was a little bit dodgy, yeah. But now, yeah, that bull's not going anywhere with the break tackle. Looking pretty good. Yeah. I mean, he could technically clear i mean i guess he's got more players to move so there's no point in conjecturing <laughs> yes yeah, yeah there's a few people who love to say that don't they as they're commentating on like their own games or whatever you know i heard somebody <laughs> that i don't watch was like that and they were like oh i can do this <laughs> and then like yeah. they move somebody if the turn like, ends right now before half his team finishes <laughs> moving I've got, i fall into that trap when i'm playing a lot i'll get fixated on how i'm gonna hit the ball <laughs> and then I won't pay attention to the last three moves and be like, hey, wait a minute, I thought I had a three plus here. 
Now it's like a six. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, he's actually decided to make a cage. Yeah, Outrageous. amazing. Amazing how that works. So you've got to wonder if, uh, if like, you know, saying that, him getting that far forward, maybe uh, Wolfpark didn't respond well enough because now Wolfpark's got, look how far forward he is. Yeah. And it, maybe Wolfpark yeah. should have brought everyone back further uh, quicker. Yeah, and, and half of Wolfbark's team, the slowest half, mind you, isn't even, you know, within within uh, within a turn, or really realistically two turns of the ball. Yeah, yeah, and they're the only ones that are a real threat to the runner with him having dodge. Yep. So, yep, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, birds are terrible, but I was just answering Isan Wolf. By doing that, I wasn't just saying, "Look how good I am." It was, but it, <laughs> it was the obvious one to do. If someone wants to check race win rates, there's only there's only one command I'm gonna I'm gonna do, isn't there? <laughs> so yeah, Wolfbark really just putting in the hammer on as many players as he can right now. I think. Yeah. Uh, might be chaining. Might be chaining that bull. No. Well. Yeah. yeah he might be, be chaining yeah. the bull up. Onto, I guess the uh, the blodge stepper. But then you're running the risk of getting your bull surfed. So exactly, yeah. That doesn't seem super cool. Oh, he's gonna run out of time though. <laughs> he's not gonna get this block. Oh, he does does get the block in. Yeah. Buys himself some breathing room. What's he decide to do with the bull? No time on the clock. He might make the wrong call here. Well, he is going to risk it. Oh, I think CK, yeah, this could be bad if he doesn't get this block off. He oh, does, he, he does get the pound. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, PTK. So now does PTK just not risk it? He, and surfs, score? he surfs the ball 100%. 100% yeah. surfs the ball. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's literally 100%. It's not even hard. No. <laughs> like, okay, it's some two pluses, but he's got the re-rolls. He's 100% surfing him. He'll, he'll make it as safe as he can and everything, but... I can't believe for a sec... Oh, well, okay, he's not going to do the surf. <laughs> oh, maybe he'll do the yeah. blitz with a... Wi no, he wow, he's not I doing thought, the surf. Yeah. yeah, no, that's not how... He's not doing the surf, outrageous. I think, but I think he's prioritizing doing it this way because now he can cage up really nicely and 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 end the and end the drive stalling. If something had gone wrong trying to surf, he was a bit exposed. Yeah, but he could have done it pr really safely though. I'm really surprised he could have he could have made it really safe the surf. Could have done. He really could have done. I'm I'm surprised at that. And obviously, it makes the next turn stall easier because you've just got rid of his block block break tackle movement nine guy. You know. I'm shocked you didn't do the surf there. Uh, genuinely shocked that that seems to me like an obvious surf. This from the guy who has the piece of paper on his wall that says never surf. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean though. Like he could, he was, he was really safe. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I agree. I, I agree. And, you know, there, there are dodges from tackle that had to happen to do it though. Yeah, but I mean, he's made all them anyway, right? And he had to make yeah. all them to make this the safe. So I, I don't like it. Personally, <laughs> but I'm not surprised. I guess seeing as he did all of the other things where he was just blitzing and stuff rather than making extra blocks, so he has been really prioritizing moving around and everything. Um, and I guess this makes him in a puts him in a better spot for the next turn and stuff because it's like a layered screen, isn't it? So yeah, no, I mean, there's there's this was a pretty effortless uh, eight turn stall. When you get right down to it, he just moved one way, never had to cut back. Dwarves maybe got a little bit ahead of themselves, and now they're playing catch up. But uh, you know, this would this would be a little bit different. The dwarves, I think, are probably feeling a little unlucky to not put someone in that cas box and have to use their own apo. <laughs> um, you know, that's gonna. I mean, that's what happens to Bash, though. So. <laughs> yep. Oh. Dub skulls out. Should he have made that block before moving some people? Uh, I don't think so. 
Okay, not not overly critical, right? Because of the time limits involved and everything. But I mean, all things considered, he probably would have re-rolled that even at the end of his turn, just because. What's he going to need the extra reroll for at this point? Well, a GFI, whatever, isn't it? The only reason to not move these first is if you're going to GFI. So if you're going to GFI, right. then move them first because then you've got the reroll right. for the GFI. Yeah. So I feel like he should have definitely moved everybody first. Um, because what if you quad skull, right? You could quad skull. Just because he was going to dedicate a reroll to it wouldn't mean he wouldn't quad skull. <laughs> Yeah, the new the new Imperial characters look terrible. Yeah, so now now PTK because because he got out further a bit by not taking the surf, he's managed to get out further, which makes switching over at this corner much easier, doesn't it? Yeah. So Right, I mean it's not it's not rocket science, that was the ob obvious benefit to not surfing, mm -hmm. but I would have totally surfed because then you know, you might cas him and even if you don't cas him, you haven't got to deal with this movement nine. Add four guy <laughs> to defend the ball. <laughs> uh, uh, pretty, uh, uh, pretty unfortunate. Uh, pretty unfortunate uh, double push there, actually. Yeah, he really wanted the seventy-five percent thing, didn't he? Yeah, he, he gonna leave to his... a little bit of something on. Not much, but a little bit of something. Yeah, he had to keep his uh, his rerolls as well for these dodges yeah. and GFIs, like dodges yep. and tackle, and so he couldn't afford to reroll it. I don't think. I mean, he, he could have re-rolled it, but I don't think anybody would or should have done. Yeah. But he's managed to uh, managed to cover everything off perfectly, hasn't he? Yeah. And there's basically no chance to even make him roll dice on turn eight. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, is it worth? Is it even worth trying to? Trying to do something a ball here, or you just try and get a nice, good claw mighty hit. Yeah, probably claw mighty in a foul, right? He's still got his uh, yep. reserve, so just big gun. Oh, he foul. does. Yeah, yeah, good call. Oh, oh, oh! This could no, okay, just a stun. I was gonna say cheeky removal right there on that failed GFI could be uh, pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you just take the hits on offer. You got a couple here. Claw mighty hit. Yeah. Yeah, claw mighty hit and massive gun foul. Why not? Uh, but, but that, yeah, but then you've got the extra guys. So you might as well. You might as well foul now, right? I think so. It was yeah. It was a lovely drive, wasn't it? From the <laughs> from the big pink bunny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was. It, you know, he really was focused on yeah. on keeping the ball safe, wasn't he? The opposite of space cadet there. Um, he was <laughs> keeping his <laughs> options open, thinking about the movement all the time and everything, and position, and not caring about maximizing blocks or maybe maximizing End the turn for fuck's sake. Or anything. End the fucking turn, man. Uh, is my is my is my thing frozen, or are they just not doing anything? He hasn't done anything. He's got seven <laughs> seconds okay. left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm up base here. Then. He is thinking. He's trying to hit the ball. I think. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Hard Something. to say. He's doing something um, other than a claw mighty and foul, which I think he probably should have done the claw mighty and foul for the chance of him stopping yeah, the fucking touchdown. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it, for the Chorfs to win this, they're going through overtime at this rate. Yeah. So, um, you might as well start that attrition train now. This is your this is your fucking sure hands guy, man. This could lose you the game if he like schools out or whatever. Uh, I guess you take the push so that he doesn't kill your sure hands before yeah, the second Yeah, we just push him in the end zone. It, it changes basically nothing. Ooh. Oh, oh, dear. Yeah, so he does push him in the end zone. Yeah. But now you don't have... I mean, if you wanted to try a one turn, now you don't have your reroll. Because I think that was his last reroll, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I don't think he would be trying to reroll. I guess if there's a riot, he hasn't got a reroll for it. Yeah. So that kind of sucks. Yeah. Riot's his only chance. There's no way he's getting a one turn realistically. Yeah, pretty, pretty rough. I, I just think, you know, bulls, bulls are effectively movement nine. But well, effectively not, movement yeah. seven. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, I, I, was, I was coming to that conclusion <laughs> as I said it. <laughs> 
Yeah, so... But, I mean, I, I don't know. I think you still try. I mean, you could, but you, again, you're probably better off just maximizing blocks and yeah. doing a massive gang foul. Yeah, fair enough. PTK's guard has stayed out, which could be massive. Wasn't on offense, but <laughs> could be massive. Yeah, he's just going to take his hits here. Yeah, makes sense. Or look for the riot, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. Right is really good as well, isn't it? But he's going to hate not having that reroll if there's a riot. Yeah, yeah, or, you know, someone to retrieve the ball. <laughs> Bulls are movement six, but when it comes to a one turn, they're movement seven, aren't they? For for how what range you've got to get them into. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 what we were talking about, Marzo. Yeah, and when 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 you're playing against them, you have to uh, respect that they can move nine squares reliably. Right, but if you're calculating how to do a one turn, you would calculate it the same way you would for a movement seven piece. Yes, player. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, I never say peace. <laughs> Jesus. I'm really not a fan of peace. I don't know. Maybe I picked that up. I was watching. I watched Dimmy's uh, broadcast of the Andy game. I don't think Dimmy says peace. I don't think Dimmy says much relevant. But uh, Dio was in it. So maybe Dio. Does Dio say peace? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I like, legitimately never say that. <laughs> <laughs> He's taken the piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a. Oh no, he's got an extra one. I was going to say this is a bit crap because he didn't want to. He didn't want to assist with this guy, but he's got another guy to do the foul. Oh. Huge foul coming in. Just the stun again there. But on a lineman instead of you know maybe a blotch blitzer. Yeah. And he could have maybe fouled twice if he didn't get sent off on turn on turn seven. He could have made an he could have made an extra big foul, couldn't he? So yep. no, I, I I definitely agree. The assessment was uh, you know it should have been take your hits. I mean it, you know it's hard to pass up a one die to try and save a score, you know. But but even if he got him down, oh, the, uh, it's going to be what two two pluses almost assuredly for the dark elves to score. Mm. The, the ball could have gone in the scattered. crowd, though. The ball could have yeah. gone in the crowd, and then it could have gone like scattered that way, and then that yeah. way, and then he just can't score because he had nobody else back. Yeah. I guess so. It was really low chances, but at least he was giving himself a chance. Like if it had been turn sixteen, then yes, of course you have to go for that because your alternate is just lose. <laughs> like you know, if it was nil nil, and <laughs> it was turn sixteen, right. Right. then obviously you would have had to have gone for the one D. But with the whole extra hat, with two more halves potentially with overtime. Um, I think it was probably more prudent. Well, it was definitely more prudent to go for the core mighty and foul. Uh, but I can understand him not because even a tiny chance, it's still a, it's still a chance, isn't it? Uh, hello, Satatoad. Yeah, J-Man battle, isn't it? This, Wolfbark and K-Fog. All right, well, second half kicking off momentarily. Remember to broccoli me again, Jim. That sounds <laughs> pretty dirty. Uh, absolutely <laughs> no damage anywhere to be found uh, yeah. the, the chorf's down in Apo that's about that's about as uh, as bad as it could be going for a bash team yeah. that, that's not true that's not true at all like, if it was a gym bash team he'd be <laughs> down three chorfs point being <laughs> this is not how you want to draw up the start to your second half if you're the if you're wolf bark <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> And this is the classic. This is where the blitz comes in. Uh, it's only a quick snap. Anyway, I'm yeah. going to go eat some broccoli now. <laughs> All right. I, I had forgotten what I said, so I might be a second ahead. But I think I was a second behind anyway. So. <laughs> right. uh, actually, I'm going to go eat some broccoli now as well. So um, yeah. I'll come back and eat me dinner through here so that I can, uh, I can okay. maybe unmute. But I am going to go and eat some broccoli. So there you go. All right, broccoli, eating broccoli being a euphemism for jerking off in the shower. No, I'm eating some broccoli. <laughs> broccoli. <laughs> it's not a strangle wank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. 
All right. So, uh, you know, not an irrelevant quick snap, but mostly irrelevant. Wolfberg really likes to work this blitz pit clock. He's uh, He seems to be one of the few remaining uh, bring it right down to the final seconds kind of guys. Yeah, sorry. You can use Knut, Satterfield. Or C-Nut. All right, um, not he gets the KO off the LOS and gets a stun, so not terrible, but again, not not what uh, what he's looking for. I like this blitzing the uh, the unprotected player. Oh, and there's another removal. All right, so that's two KOs. That greatly helps with the uh, the numbers game for this eight turn drive. He's plugging all these holes here. Doesn't want any elves spilling back and pressuring his ball carrier. And we get to see how aggressive PTK is planning to be with these elves on defense. I mean, he's only got seven of them for this turn, really. Oh, but the, <laughs> the one and nine on the ball carrier pickup is going to leave them deep. That might tempt k -Fog to get a couple guys in the backfield and uh, start putting the pressure on. But it's hard for him. He can't really blitz his way through to try and separate the team. So anyone coming in is going to have to come. It's going to be like that that blodge tackler and the garter on the, uh, on the right side. Blitz coming in on the uh, bull. Nice target to hit. Gets the pow. Puts him on his ass here. Oh, and the break. Just the stun. Oh, Wolf, Wolfbark might have dodged a bit of a bullet there. That would have been a bad time to get a high rolled on a on a on an armor roll there. But yeah, there's just so few elves right now to contend. But now this uh this uh the, the, the sure hands hobgoblin making the pickup. He's only getting about halfway back up up the his side of the pitch. So he's probably gonna need some extra help back there. There's two other free hobgoblins. Um but we saw this uh we saw this in a game earlier in the pit yesterday where everyone dropped back to protect and it um it really, really bogged down the Chorf team. I, I forget who that was. Oh, no, that was in the uh, the Skaven and... Uh, that was uh, Mike the Machines game, uh, the very first game we covered. They dropped back to guard against the Skaven, flooding the backfield, and then it just was a Herculean effort to get forward at that point. Um, a little bit of a different situation here, however. Yeah, a failed pickup here is a, is a disaster. But he's doing the right thing. He's going to get some chorfs in the vicinity. He's got some hobos in the vicinity. Curious where the ball really goes. I guess right inside this big this big cage here that he's got. Nice wide open one. And this is probably going to be enough that should the ball pickup be successful, PTK will probably fall back. Because now he can start screening at midfield. And again, the shorts are going to be a little bit bogged down. Uh, 
Uh, was that the... El oh, I think you're right. Actually, yeah, I think you're right, Necropotence. The Eliod game. Yeah, Eliod dropped back because I think that was uh, was either for his, uh, for the second half drive or overtime. But, he, yeah, he pulled everyone back, and he just got really bogged down trying to get forward at that point. Never really recovered from it. Get a lot of dog out. I'll be right back. Les joueurs viennent au soutien de leurs coéquipiers. Elle est déchaînée. Glorious, I have returned. Apologies about the silence. Uh, yeah, welcome aboard, Jay Baza. We are in the, uh, these are the last two remaining unbeaten teams of the Blitz Pit, if you're just tuning in. Uh, the winner of this will go into the grand final. The loser uh, will go into the loser's bracket because this is double elimination. So they'll have another game to play after this against the winner of our uh, loser's bracket matchup, um, which is uh, Crucifer and one of the Dios playing Norse. So Norse and Chorfs, I believe, in the uh, in the in the losers bracket. If I'm hello, right. I thought it was the Necros, wasn't it? I thought it was the Necros. Oh, sorry, so, uh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Necro, Necro. That's right. That's right. Anyway, I'm just gonna eat me dinner now, so. The other Dio was playing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of yeah. the three Dio. Imagine a blitz bit with three Dios in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and as expected, k -Folk did pull back there, but now he's got a really nice, uh, you know, screen here. He can start bogging him down again. And, uh, you know, Wolfbark recovered pretty well from all that. Um, but he's still looking at, you know, a little bit, you know, he, he loses out on basically two turns, which as Chorfs isn't the best thing in the world, but we'll see. What he really wants, though, he really wants some of these uh, KOs to start turning into uh, casualties because uh, if it comes down to a coin flip in overtime and the elves win it and they're not way down men, that, that might be that might be it for them. Uh it var it varies dreaded Oreo. I forget offhand. Um I forget offhand what it is for this blitz pit, but uh more more than a more than a bit. I think it's in the uh some amount of high tens or maybe even a hundred in US dollars. For first place, it kind of, it spreads out a little bit. It's like a crowdfunded league, so there's a bunch of sponsors who contribute money that gets divvied up uh, for the participants. Two fifty US. Okay, thank you, Gedanik. Oh, double skulls there. Cannot re-roll it. Lucky doesn't get the armor break at least. And now the Chorfs are uh, going to get some hits in here. Going to get yeah. quite a few hits in. And again, interesting that PTK was using his Blitz. He wasn't getting the extra block. He really doesn't mind about uh, giving up his Blitz, does he, and stuff to... Uh, well, yeah. giving up hits to use his Blitz to move people around. Very interesting. Yeah, it looks like uh, Wolfbar could maybe surge forward through here a little bit, doesn't it? Sure does. C'est le moment de vérité! Ce joueur à cet attaquant, il transpire la faiblesse. Here comes that claw mighty, gets the uh, gets the knockdown. He's making us wait. Oh, there's the break. <laughs> and another KO. He knew he'd get the extra plus one by making us wait. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. That's actually why I turned off uh, 
That's why I turned off the cutscenes. I just got so stressed out by those delays. <laughs> So maybe not the surge we had uh, originally advertised, but he is shuffling up a few squares. Ball's going to be pretty much safe other than that garter there. Does he foul? Does he, does he foul? Does he he definitely yeah, he fouls. is going to foul. Big foul coming. And power up was gone. Yeah. And just the stun, no send off again. Ref being real lenient today. Mm. So yeah, Wolfbart really got to maximize hits and stuff rather than maximize movement. With only four turns left, that could be uh, that could come back to bite him in the ass because PTK is going to battle with everything here, isn't he, to stop this touchdown? So yeah, he really yeah he really is. I mean, again, PTK pretty lucky to only have two guys off the pitch, and they're both. Uh, they're both in the KO box, so his uh, his prospects in OT are, are 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 pretty good. But three stuns on the pitch right now, he doesn't have a lot to work with. It would be it would be much better for him because he's going to take a bunch more hits. Uh, it would be much better for him to shut this down right about now. Nice screen up there. And this is exactly what's going to cause Wolfbark some problems here because unless he really kind of dives in a little bit, he's only getting another square forward, and that's not going to do it. Yeah, and he's got to worry about these three guys standing back up yep. again and threatening the rear. Exactly, yep. Yeah, yeah, Necropotence, absolutely. <laughs> wow, that's horrible, isn't it? That's horrible blitzing him with him. Mm, but it but it does open up a little bit of a hole there. Yeah, but blitzing with tackle, isn't it? That's isn't that weird? Yeah. And I, I think a bad sidestep is... Oh, it wasn't sidestep, okay. <laughs> but he put the assist in, then didn't blitz with tackle. Isn't that weird? He could have blitzed with tackle. <laughs> was the bull... No, the bull wasn't even in the way there, was he? I don't think so. No, nah, I think because the bull was one square to the right of the the blodge garter on the, on the floor, wasn't he? Yeah, I thought so. I'm, I'm weird. Maybe he's, man, he's got a minute and he's played loads of Blood Bowls, or maybe <laughs> yeah, it was a mistake, enough. or maybe he just wanted to push... You know, but, I mean, whatever whatever it was, the result is this. Uh, all that ground that we said was going to be tough for Wolfbark to be gaining uh, was gained uh, pretty pretty quickly and pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess Sai's up in the wrong place, right? Uh, he is leaving a... Oh, maybe he's not. No, he's still got the bull. So... Without one more, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, he was leaving a one D with Russell on the ball. That's a little bit better. Yep. <laughs> Go on at the broccoli super hard. I always eat the broccoli first because it's just shit, and I like to get out of the way, and then I can enjoy the, <laughs> then I can enjoy the chicken and the rice. <laughs> K Fog looking to get back in front of the play here. A uh, little bit unfortunate on that blitz. He'd probably really like to have one more sidestepper right about now.
<laughs> yeah, three guys threatening his rear. Just a just an average Sunday night for Wolfpack. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's giving him. Uh, he's <laughs> he's he's daring him to just score now. Uh, probably not going to happen though. <laughs> oh! Oh, is this a misclick? What? Yep. Well, must have been. Must have been. Oh, no. Maybe he didn't see that guy behind the uh, bull centaur. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, that is Disaster. tragic. Can't re-roll it either. No. Oh. Uh, well, I think the ball's going to get hit, Jim. Yep, that looks like a horrible way to lose. Oh. But he might not. <laughs> he kind of needed the power, yeah, didn't he? Rolling a lot of pushes the last few turns, but there, here comes a one D at minimum. Yeah, he can still two D the other, the the uh, yep. thing, and yep. maybe power him. If he powers him, he gets two D at the ball. Yeah. So yeah, he had two chances to power. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I think uh, Wolf Bark, man, a really unfortunate. Can't, oh, he's going in with tackle instead of wrestle. That does the job. Yeah, there's no block, so I mean, there's oh, no. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That might have bailed him out. That might have bailed him out, Jim. Yep. Maybe heroic hobgoblin there. Wow. Wow. And uh, pretty much any way you slice it, there's gonna be a chance for a bull to clear. Well, maybe less so now, but so where does the witch go right now? Looks like she's going into base. She is going into base. Hooked up, base, base, base. Maybe he'll just yeah. surf her and uh, sideline cage it, basically. Yeah, I mean, he does have another turn, and he's well within range to score. Not the worst idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate just going for the surf. Because following gets you a, gets you away, you know, and then you can uh, you can block him. GFI to get the guard. I, I, I really favor the just uh, GFI in the guard in blocking and blocking back and blitzing and everything. This, this. Looking, oh, he's got this guy as well. He doesn't even need a GFI. Just move him in, block her, block him, yeah. Oh man, he's got to surf. Why don't these people surf? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah, by making that block first, of course, you can then, uh, you don't, you didn't, you didn't even need to bring that assist at either assist at all. He's got to go for the serve. He's got to. Come on. Today, Wolf Bark. No! <laughs> no! Oh, oh, this is bad times, though. Doesn't get her down. Oh, dude, you totally should have served her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, all the GFIs. Oh, Running out of time, though. He doesn't want to get fucked by the timer like he was last time. Yeah. He's not going to GFI right, well, here. We're both pretty safe now, so. I think the GFI there was slightly better uh, to make the GFI with him, but he, he's not going to dedicate the reroll because he's playing for overtime, isn't he? He didn't even reroll the six plus dodge that kind of lost him the game, but he luckily yeah. avoided it. It would been it would been a horrible way for Wolfbach to lose it, to be fair, because yeah. it wasn't a blood balling mistake, was it? It was a blood ball two mistake, so. And I believe in the last blitz pit, he uh, ended up losing like 20 seconds of time one turn through a glitch in the game. I don't think it was 20 no. seconds, but it was something about eight or four, between eight and four or something like that. Oh, uh, okay. I okay. mean, it's quite so a lot, isn't bad. it? Yeah, not as bad, but he does play that clock right down. So, that I mean, that's significant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he could have done a lot in the time that was left for sure. Yeah. 
And that yeah, was, was, was that it? Was that in the final? That was pretty late in the, in the tournament, if I recall correctly. It was, yeah. It was, it was, br- I mean, it was brutal because it was just a stupid bug, wasn't it? It wasn't anything. Yeah. At least this, it was, it was his fault. It wasn't a yeah. Blood Bowl mistake. It was a Blood Bowl 2 mistake, but it was still a mistake, wasn't it? Absolutely. But still, just one of those situations that, like, back to back ends to a tournament on something like that doesn't feel too good. Glad no. he's getting a second chance at this, and it looks, looks like we're going to overtime, folks. Yeah, PT. With amazingly no Kaz from the Chorfs. Hmm. <laughs> At all, we'll see what those. We'll see what those. Uh, is he thinking what? What? Get out of town, PTK. I don't know what's going on now, Jim. What was that for? I've got no idea. Oh, he wants to hit the ball. Just so he could. Just so he could push the ball without a reroll. <laughs> nah. Nah. Come on, man. Easiness. This is <laughs> wow. Fair enough. Hey, you know what? Uh, uh, I would probably, without without significant dice, I would never beat PTK in a dark elf versus dark elf mirror. So uh, <laughs> I'm not going to call him out on that decision. But I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. You're more than welcome to. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's minute turns and everything and all that. Blah 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 blah. Um, yeah, sure, get in it. Sure, right. I believe we they both the got the permission. Having four people in commentary at once. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it works, isn't it? It's going to be interesting. Do we need to jump over to a different Discord channel, or are you just going to bring them in here? They can, they can join here, can't they? Okay. Look at this. We've got we've got the full, the full crew now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Rick's definitely got permission. I don't know if Dio does. Uh so so he has with all of his efforts, he has forced a dodge here. Yeah. <laughs> I like the bobble box in case he fails the dodge. Yeah, Dio's got permission. Dio! The Welshiest Welshman in the world. <laughs> oh man, one and nine to exit the or well to exit the uh, the winners bracket. Oh, he didn't block him and then blitz. Oh, I don't like that. I do. Why did Wolfbart do it wrong? Isn't that weird? Well, he had two guys to clear on him. Yeah, but you block one with him and push him, and then. But I mean that. Yeah. And then you block him. I do, well, how has he fucked it up? Maybe I'm just being really fucking stupid and it was good by PTK and it wasn't bad by Wolfbark, but that looks bad from both people to me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I'd have to go back and I, I don't exactly know what you're thinking, but the sidestepper needed to be blitzed. Yeah, he shouldn't have been. For sure he shouldn't have been. That's really weird. Yeah. Well, uh, doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't suffer the defeat... From the uh, the misclick uh, or the uh, last turn antics there. Oh uh, uh, no, he, he blitzed him and got both down. Maybe yeah, he had to blitz him, but he could have got both. He, he yeah. just both down. He just needed to push. I don't understand. And, uh, he shouldn't have had to dodge. Only one elf KO comes back, and they win the toss. Looking dire for the dwarves. <laughs> I'm 100%. 100% wrong, all right, Flicky Flock. <laughs> yeah, turn 16 for now, yeah. Yeah, I think... Uh, oh, shit, yeah, my bad, my bad. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> Gentlemen? Which is not a euphemism. Oh, thanks, Flicky Rick, Flock. Rick, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, yeah, wonderful, thanks. Well, I mean, I, let's be honest, I'm still reeling from my last JFW loss, but, uh, but otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I'm, I'm wonderful, thank you. You Glory. and me both, Rick, you and me both. <laughs> yeah, I bet, mate, I bet. <laughs> well, at least, uh, at least the Tony Plays Baldy Night went better. <laughs> Apart from the finish. <laughs> How dare you, sir? How dare you? 
<laughs> my, my apologies. At least I won on Tony Plays Poorly Night. That's all that really matters. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Thought you did. How's this game been then, guys? Uh, it's been uh, it's been a bit of a head scratcher. It's been really good. I mean, PTK drove drove exactly as you'd expect him to uh, with great ease. Didn't even really need any cutbacks. Just drove down and scored. Pretty pretty clinical eight turn drive. And uh, the dwarves had a little bit more of a challenge, let's say, uh, aided by a six plus dodge misclick. Uh, oh. But they were able to equalize. They have done no damage to speak of. And now we've got a one turn coming to see if we can avoid overtime. Yep. No reroll in the pass or catch. He doesn't oh, need wow. them. Jim, you've got a, a really nice uh, Dark Elf one turn video on YouTube, I think. <laughs> I do, yeah. It doesn't start with a skull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that ends that. <laughs> That's not the way. Yeah, I did. I did a nice little. Uh, I did a nice little movement seven one turn. Yeah, it was all right. An actual. Oh yeah. So this is a this is a good point for Dio and Rick. Whatever you do, don't say the c word. Um, I know you swear a lot, Rick. So try to calm it down. <laughs> oh. Do you know what you're asking, mate? Right. YouTube standards have changed. They will auto. Uh, punish you uh, for <laughs> canutting around. <laughs> you say wow. sound clip then. Pardon? You've got a sound clip with the C word. Not I've anymore. got rid of them. I've got rid of all of my uh, all of my sound clips that had the C word in them. <laughs> no more C nut. <laughs> yeah, you missed an interesting session of having to listen to all of the various uh, clips of Jim swearing. <laughs> 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 to see if they were viable or not. <laughs> and hello, Dio, as well. It was uh, Core as unlucky as it looked like? I joined just as he sacked and the ball popped into a hobgoblin hand. Was that okay for Worf anyway, or was it really as unlucky as it looked at first glance? Well, I mean... the precursor to it was a six-plus dodge by a chorf on a misclick. Uh, so oh. I think, I think uh, Wolfbark got bailed out. But it would have been pretty unfortunate had it had it stood and K and Kfo had uh, won off of that, in my opinion. Yeah. And then PTK also got in the trouble. He got into trouble by not rerolling a double skull. And maybe if he'd rerolled that double skull, he would have stopped the score and uh, and not gone to overtime at all. So there you go. He, he defended his kick equity, but maybe not his match equity. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the beauties of this format is. Uh... Yeah, reroll management is so key, and it's it's hard to know when saving that reroll is the right decision or not. So uh, yeah, we could probably debate that one long and hard. Uh, just to update you guys uh, on for the next game, uh, Crucible won fairly comfortably with his uh, chorfs. Mm -hmm. So uh, he is awaiting the loser of this match for the uh, loser the, bracket. What are you doing here? What are you doing? See another chorf, uh, or will yeah. these dwarves uh, be able to drive down and put this in? You'll find out right here stacked commentary crew for this overtime and the final we got Gorilla Mezzo Jim McMahon the demon well he's currently the Blood Bowl Jesus Rick Reckless <laughs> and the sniper himself Dio <laughs> I don't know whether to put uh, camouflage on Dio's face on. <laughs> that's young Dio thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me! Already a removal for the uh, the chorfs as well as winning the uh, the coin flip. This is uh, quietly going Wolfbark's way. Obviously, a long way to go yet, but uh, he'll be pleased with this. Yes, absolutely. It's looking rough for uh, Key Fog now, isn't it? PTK. Sure is. Still marveling at the uh, lack of uh, casualties that these dwarves have been able to muster all uh, all match, but uh, two two KOs without that bench at all. Those two KOs, you know, coming in from the second half are, are definitely going to wear them down. It, it, the numbers game seemed pretty rough in the first part of the second half there with uh, Wolf Bark's drive, but uh, PTK knows how to use those dark elves. He sure does. Yeah. He's gonna have to get lucky, though. I think to 
you know, he's going to need some dice, uh, even though there aren't any. <laughs> yeah, even, even though it's just rookie line elves that are out, um, it, it obviously affects the elf screens. There's less players to do that with, and it also hurts uh, protecting your important positional pieces. He can't even afford to spend a reroll in the defense and can't afford not to reroll anything. So it's, it's really, really hard for the Dark Elves now. Yep, super hard. What do we think about this? Um, what do we think about the sure hands pick by Whoopart guys? Because that is the only Chorf coach to have taken that as a skill choice this tournament. It's interesting, isn't it? I don't think it's really going to matter. Like you know, we've seen what have we only were there three Chorfs? We've seen three Chorfs. I've seen three Chorfs. Um, Crucifer, Wolfbark, and Purple Chest, and they've all been a slightly different, but. Not a lot different. I don't think it makes a lot of difference, to be honest. There you go. Like, I don't know which one I like more, the most. I don't, I don't even know which build I like the most. Um, I'll person. tell you after the tournament, whichever one does the best. <laughs> Skill picks are such a tiny part of your overall value of your team. For, for how much it gets discussed. Yeah, yeah. But it's one of those things that's easy to say, isn't it? And it's easy to ask and it's easy to give an answer to. I think that's why people like discussing them so much. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an actual variable, isn't it, that you've got some control over? Yeah, uh, like all, all my YouTube videos, like not all of them, but the few, the few guides that I've done on YouTube have got like loads of views and everything, and I just think they're almost worthless. <laughs> <laughs> See, I totally agree with Dio. I think it's it's they are pretty worthless, but people people like them and, and want them, so you know, it is what it is, isn't it? It's a great time of advertising that Jim. <laughs> I know it's right. it's true, isn't it? It's it's true. I just don't see a lot of value in saying pick this skill and whatever. And if you too want to find out all this useless information on improving and not improving your Blood Bowl acumen, <laughs> just head to JimmyFantastic.com or go to YouTube and search for Jimmy Fantastic. You'll find playlists with all the races he's done deep runs with and a lot of critical analysis of skills that don't matter whatsoever to pick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gorilla. What a pro. That's what I'm here for, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! It's surprising that he's put all this stuff, but he hasn't. He hasn't showed up the absolute front there, has he? That's, that's interesting. PTK not going for that. Just going for the furthest forward man. Yeah, and he gets four dice on him as well. Yep. Well, Marzum, that doesn't take very long because half the skills that need coverage in the new set, Jim just says nope. <laughs> yeah. Cloudburster? No. <laughs> Running past? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of crap. There's a lot of crap skills. Armbar, terrible. Power driver, terrible. <laughs> They're not officially spoiled, but you know they exist. So, what was the desperation play from the Dark Elves? Right now, they're not quite in a situation where it's too desperate. If it gets any worse, uh, are they are they diving in for uphill sacks? I mean, um, they've got to, right? Wolfbark's a two to one favorite now on kicks. Yeah. And so they've yeah. got they've got to do something, otherwise Wolfbark can just sit here and and probably win on kicks. He could just go for the full Death Star here. Yeah, at some point that witch is going to have to make a red die wrestle uh, blitz almost. <laughs> it, it seems like that's going to be his only real option here, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, he's got to do something. It doesn't even have to be the witch, does it? Because uh, there is no block on the ball carrier. So uh, it, you might even be better off taking it with a block face and then you might remove the, the sure hands. Yeah, but then at least if you get the double up pushes, you'd have another chance with the witch, wouldn't you? So she is like technically the best at getting the ball. Mm, um, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, it's still not. It's still not good, and it doesn't really matter that much. Not officially spoiled, nor an insist the. Uh, not officially spoiled. Just just things that have been said. Again, he's letting he's letting PTK, you know, base the ball if he wants. And I'm not saying that basing the ball is a good strategy at all. <laughs> but 
I would still not let him if I couldn't help it. Do you know what I mean? Just because... Yeah, when you're down to bad options, it, it isn't the worst, is it, of all the options? Uh, yeah. Especially when you've got sidestep block like uh, the Dark Elves do. So uh, even with tackle, you're not guaranteed to get that piece away from the ball again. We saw Wolfbark have to make that uh, turn 16 dodge because of that exact situation. Yeah, I, I think Wolfbark misplayed there, to be honest. But um, I wasn't really looking, I'll be honest with you. I was eating my dinner still. But it looked to me like Wolfbark misplayed that, so that could happen as well, couldn't it? It's the, the beauty of Blitz, but turns out some top coaches make some really terrible mistakes in one-minute turns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of all the coaches I've seen this tournament, Wolfbark is the guy riding the line on that turn timer more than anyone else, too. Uh, you can tell he he probably does like a slower-paced game. Uh, oh, dear. Well, waited all game for a Kaz. There you go. I think Core would be delighted to get two kicks and take his 33%. I was just, I was just kind of wondering. I was like, well, what are the odds at this point of this uh, witch diving in, getting the ball free, and then uh, anything good happening versus just yeah, two to one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. Good, good, good way to think about it. <laughs> Hello, Mike the Machine. Uh, yes, Skorilla Metso and I did cast your match yesterday versus Random Boy. And it will be on YouTube soon. Um, but um, you can check the VOD on my channel if you want. We didn't use the C word to describe you. <laughs> so you can watch the VOD. <laughs> um, yeah, it was an interesting game, wasn't it? Oh, did you do one of the games with Mike's two gutters, did you? I didn't even notice he only had two. Did he only have two gutters? Yeah, yeah I didn't notice that either, now that you say that. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> totally didn't notice, just noticed that... It, well, noticed he had Glart, so should have noticed that there was only two gutters, but really just noticed Glart, Glart and uh, having a pom that was pretty irrelevant. I, I, that's what I didn't like. What I didn't like about it was the, was the pom, to be honest. Yeah, because he had the two claws and the palm. And it's just like no one... When you're facing all the dwarves, <laughs> yeah. you know, the palmer's not doing much. Yeah, I feel like it would have been better with just having a guarder on, you know, to more chance to crack the hard teams. Because, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what the... What the, uh, what, the uh, what the goal of the team build was, really, and that's the thing. You don't know. What other people are thinking, do you? So why aren't we seeing a more aggressive advance here from Wolfbark? Is it because of the threat of the cage dive? Uh, obviously, if he wants to double screen the cage dive, then he doesn't have the pieces. He can't go putting the tackle into base contact with the elves to kind of push forwards. Is, is that the reason? or I what? think I think Wolfbark was just waiting for PTK to fail a dice roll, knowing that he can't possibly re-roll it. <laughs> yeah. And then capitalise on that rather than try to force the issue himself. So kind of like this right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the layer he leaves it if uh, if it does go badly wrong, uh, Core won't have time to score back. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Quite yeah. important. What? Yeah. Overbuilt the face cells. Yeah. Exactly. Mighty machine. That's what I thought. I thought it was pretty much because there was a rackler as well, wasn't there? Rackle, rackle gutter. I thought it was pretty overbuilt the face cells. Yeah. But even then, mighty blow tackle. I would have thought would have been better than mighty blow piling on. I thought that I didn't like it at all. <laughs> Oh, he's just gone down the sideline. I thought he, have, I thought he might have, uh, you know, blocked the runner here and gone more to the centre. But I guess he's trying to push down the sideline again. It splits a little bit of his numbers advantage off, though. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. But he gets further forward this way than than switching to yeah. centre. And all being well, he's going to have tackle on the, the Witch, the Blood Stepper, and the Runner in a moment. Yep. <laughs> 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 
Woof's pretty good at converting bash advantages, so now that he's on top, I really don't see him failing this. Unless he does a random six plus dodge for absolutely no yeah. reason. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's interesting he's taken the both down there because he's turned down the opportunity to uh, put the tackle on the on the witch and the blood stepper. Yeah, I would have definitely just pushed him, yeah. For sure. Because it's not like, you know, you could have pushed him level so he wasn't given an assist or anything and then there's two pluses that could have Two dice into one to surf the uh, the guard chorf on two GFIs if he wants to. I think PTK would definitely not do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I stand corrected. Didn't quite do that. Isn't that weird? After not doing the surf in the first half, I guess he's, yeah. he feels it like the, well. I mean, the situation is more desperate now. But I'm surprised. After after the surf he turned down in the first half, I would have thought everybody else in Blitzpit would have gone for the surf. <laughs> Not the worst position for Core now after everything else that's gone on. Also, I don't know why anyone calls him Core. I don't know the reference to that. But, but it's his name. Say, oh, is that his actual name? Okay. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, I assumed his name was Kevin. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, I've always thought of him as a Kevin in my head. <laughs> Amazing. That's great. I, I won't tell you that I thought his name was Kevin Fogged, <laughs> but I thought his name was Kevin Fogged. <laughs> yeah, Fogged is his surname. It's just it's pronounced like Fog. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're very creative people, a football community, nicknaming people after their real names. Um, <laughs> yeah. Their actual nicknames just being the most regular boring name you can think of. <laughs> next, next, you're going to tell me that Jim's name isn't actually Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> uh, it is actually, it is. Technically, um, if I was American, it could be my common law name. Oh, dear. So there you go. That's what I said to iRacing when I said, please let me use Jimmy Fantastic as my real name. And they said, okay. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, he's done that before moving this guy in. I thought he'd have moved that guy in, you know, yeah, like forward. Weird. He's going to have a base cage here. Yeah. I guess he's going to move the bull up there, and that's why I didn't move him in. No, he's going to GFI? He's going to GFI. He's going to oh. dodge. Oh, my can't, goodness. Can't re-roll it. Well. Oh, I don't like this. That's just going to be a mistake. He must have just thought in his head he'd already moved the chorf. Yeah. One dice on the ball for three. Uh, not too, not too different from the issue he had in the second half. There, a little, little different, but <laughs> no surf for you. I see why he didn't go for the surf now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get two dice though, can he? Realistically, not easily. Even if no, he it should, it should just. He should, probably should just take the one. Still one is pretty, pretty fucking good, considering the situation right, with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah and no, no block on the ball carrier there either. Yep. Paul needs to think though that he he probably wants a scoring threat. Next, well, obviously, if he wants one at all, he needs it next turn. He hasn't got much time. Yep. And That's so very good with point. this opportunity, I'd definitely be wanting to be able to score now. Oh yeah, that, that's a tricky decision there because. The sack would be unbelievably huge, but uh, but then if it does still go to kicks, he's obviously costing himself. Yeah, he's he's got he's got to preserve the rerolls now, hasn't he? So is Wolf Park. They've both they've both decided to <laughs> to stay, to not reroll anything for the entire match. It's it's past rerolls now, unless it's unless it's like a two plus to win or something. They're not well, rerolling anything. Well, one of the big motivations now for Core to get um, a scoring threat in next turn is it will force Wolf to reroll on turn twenty four. Uh, if something goes wrong. Yeah, yeah, if something goes horribly wrong, yeah. He's pushing it, he's helping him, he's pushing him into score. That means he's not 
blocking that guy as well. Interesting. <laughs> now what's he doing? Still got the blitz. But it means he can't blitz someone else, doesn't it? This is uh, pretty, pretty yeah. looking pretty dodgy. Well, tackle base is going to be a problem now. How on earth did we get here from where we were? I was just thinking, this is the slowest paced, most dramatic overtime I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm now, if I'm Wolf, I accept that this has gone badly wrong, and I just uh, blitz the ball carrier free and run him back left, and and just take take the kicks now. I don't think that's taking the kicks. I think that's putting you under pressure from the uh, elf still. He's still got he's still got two elves there, hasn't he? That can reach you and, and a scoring threat. It wouldn't be guaranteed to be safe. I, I think I'd rather just blitz him and stay in a cage. I assume when you said go back left, you mean like just run away, but you can stay in the cage, can't you? You can blitz this guarder and then just make a cage. I, I did mean run away, yeah, with the other hobgoblin supporting. Uh, and you can break tackle out the ball if you want to, although it's tempting to just leave him on the large tackle. Yeah, you can make yeah, a full guess... cage. That's got to be better, hasn't it? Or you can run out of time. <laughs> Maybe not. Wow, what a what a bad turn for Wolfbark's dice there. He could have just blitzed with the guard blocker and then formed the cage where he is, couldn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, he could have just made a full cage. But I guess he still wants to win. Oh my god, he's going to run out of time with the ball exposed. No way. Oh dear. He has been no, he threading hasn't. the needle on that clock. <laughs> well, he's still 1D, right? Yeah. Is great? Yeah. It's, wow, how has he still got time? I was running out of time yesterday. Why didn't he put him in front? From multiple seconds left. Why didn't he put him in Oh, because of this guy, I guess. But still put him in front. Oh, he moved him out. He dodged him out. Oh, what a dirty Dino. Oh, wow, this is brilliant. Time. Wow. I do not know how we manage that. Um, we've still got a four plus dodge in, haven't we? Yep. With dodge as well, yeah. Gets the power. Oh, he gets He's him. got recovery as well, potentially. Where's that scatter going? Ah. Oh. Four plus pickup. Bit unlucky, but it's in the right place, yep. Yeah. You can get you it can on get here to pass. You can put a scoring threat in. This is. Really interesting for a, a genuine elf normal time win here. Yeah. I mean, you reroll the catch, right? If Or the dodge. But everything else, I don't think you reroll. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. I think I reroll everything. Go for it, yeah. I think I reroll everything now and go for the win. <laughs> he gets the pickup. Oh, he's not going for the pass. Next turn, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I guess there's no tackle yeah. over here so much, I guess. Yeah, there's not he's so much away. tackle over there, is there? <laughs> oh, what <man>. a turnaround! <laughs> Sick. Hey, remember when this drive started and we were like, "Well, K Fug basically has no options." Yeah. If Cora yeah. stayed back as where he was out of range of this LOS guard chorf, uh, but he is actually double GFI. That chorf can hit the blood stepper now. Yeah, but that it's better to be in range, right? Because then there's more chance Wolfpack uses uh, a reroll. Single GFI if you choose to hit the. Uh, the block tackle with your ball first, but you need to decide if you need that ball for something else. No, that is what he's doing. So single GFI, once you've cleared an assist, <laughs> we'll put the other ball in, whichever you prefer. <laughs> yeah. So up to the sack, you've got to reroll as Woof it. You've got to reroll the sack, right? Am I mad? If, if you don't get the power on the two dice, you've got to reroll the sack? There are two different questions there, Rick. But... <laughs> Are they? Sorry? Right, okay, so the question you said, You know. said, do you have to re-roll the sack? And then you said, am I mad? <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to answer that. Oh, gets the pal. Um, I think he would have had to re-roll the sack, yeah. No comment on whether you're oh, mad or not. Armor is massive here, whether it breaks or not. <laughs> yeah, yes, and... absolutely. A lovely sidestep direction as well, isn't it? Right, right sidestep from PTK, obviously. No armor break. Oh, well, that's good for Wolf. He, he can score himself yeah. now. 
Yeah. Yep. Yep. But how much how, do you... Do you, do you know how much... Uh, where, where are you putting the reroll in, if, if ever, here with, with Wolf? That's the question, isn't it? The catch is a reroll. I'm yeah, not sure I about agree. before that. Yeah, I, I think I agree. You got yeah, because he does have the advantage. So if he can win it on the last die with the reroll, sure. And at worst, he's still going into uh, kicks even. It might be everything because Core can score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's got to be everything. I think he's got to reroll it. I just think he has to. Oh, if he scary. fails, this is a dodge out three plus pick up lob it win. Like you've got I to, mean, you've got to reroll it. You've got to. There's not that many good scatters for that though. You've got to reroll it. No. <laughs> Imagine he runs out of time. GFI, yep. Oh, it's inaccurate. <laughs> wow. Should have stood wow. the short hands guy in case. Yes, yes, he should have stood him up. I mean, it's a minute though, isn't it? That's the thing. He could have done safe moves with these guys as well, but didn't. All right, well, <laughs> PTK like he has him himself in, him in. 45 seconds to sort out the best play here. He's done it pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone straight for the frenzy trap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Experienced necromantic player, PTK. <laughs> oh, what a choice. He's, no, he's certainly... That's not a choice, you just eat it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the bigger choice is going for the Frenzy Trap. I'm not sure the about that. The pass would have been just too impossible. No, I, I just think he shouldn't have done the Blitz with a Witch Elf, Frenzy really. Trap. I guess you got a chance of doing the second scatter if it's better, or getting the Chorf out of the Ball's Tackle Zone. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's, it's better, slightly better than a 3+, plus, still doing the uphill. So I, I can see why he's done it, but I, I totally see why he'd like just the one dice with the Blitz. He always starts turns like that insanely quickly in the first couple of seconds instead of taking a taking twenty <laughs> seconds to think about stuff. Yeah, 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 true. That was an instant, instant. Yeah, and that's it. it that's it, isn't it? He's defended and he stopped the. Uh, he stopped oh yeah, the double well done for Core. Not only has he t got it down to kicks, which was not expected, he's also got it down to even rerolls. I, I, yeah. yeah, amazingly well done. Yep, this is absolutely just a straight roll off whoever rolls highest wins. There are and no Bear's dice. Bear is mentioning again to the audience, neither of these men will be eliminated from contention in the tournament should they lose this game. The, the loser will go in to another game in uh, the loser's bracket against Crucifer's Chorfs, and the winner of that goes to the grand final to face the winner of this one. Yep. 3-2. Uh, I will say, for those of us experienced watching Core in these formats, he's he's really bad at even roll kicks. By the way, guys, he's got uh, he's got precedence of losing these. <laughs> <laughs> three three. Oh. Yeah, I think Blitz Pit's the best tournament around. I agree. Yeah, for spectators with the one minute turns. Yeah, for sure. Oh god, look at this, it's gonna go on forever. 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. <laughs> four, four. It's good. Pressure on. Squeaky bum time. No more blitzers left to take kicks. He's the witch elf. Will the woman mess it up? No, she doesn't. No, oh, Jim. <laughs> Dark elves. I had to, didn't I? I had to. <laughs> I haven't seen a witch elf take a kick off it before. It was a pretty good animation, wasn't it? <laughs> this one's six five now. <laughs> Where are all these high rolls? Uh, no, oh, he's blown it. There it is. Oh man. Looks like uh, Kayful still hasn't been practicing his kicks, you know, same criticism the England football team get every tournament. <laughs> yeah, I said it as a joke, it wasn't an old gym moment, was it? It was just, it was just a funny thing to say, I didn't mean it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, incredible, I need 22 AV breaks versus 3. Didn't maximise blocks at all, PTK, uh, and still was only outblocked by 50%. 
Um, so yeah, congratulations to Wolfbark. So Wolfbark is going to be in the final versus either PTK or Christopher, who will be playing right now. That's right, isn't it? Thank you very much, Gorilla and Rick and Dio. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.